Okay guys, we're about to go inside to Vid Summit, a conference where top YouTubers gather together to talk about YouTube. And I'm gonna ask them, what is the number one mistake they made running YouTube channels? You're about to hear advice from guys who have millions of followers on YouTube. Let's do it. What's the biggest mistake you made on YouTube? I take breaks all the time. Like, so like I'll go like a month or two months without uploading. And then coming back, it's like, it gets harder and harder, like, unless you come back with a banger, like, it has to be really good. Let's say you take a three-month break, and then you try to come back, and the first one you put out is, like, a, a crappy video, like, your, your channel's done. Like, YouTube will be like, alright, this guy's over, like, you know, so it has to be so juicy of a video. Yeah. I almost gave up one, at one point, so I think that's uh, something that... you started? Yeah, yeah. So I almost, like, gave up, but I just kept going, and I think, I mean, yeah, I don't really regret anything. To be honest, yeah, everything that I did led, led up to this point. The biggest mistake of YouTube is that they didn't launch YouTube Shorts fast enough. That's the biggest mistake. So it's not my biggest mistake, it's the biggest mistake on the YouTube platform is not launching new products fast enough. My biggest mistake was maybe not giving it enough attention, but it's difficult to make mistakes in something you don't care about. Not as much. I use Facebook a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Facebook and Instagram, I'm a lot more on those than, than YouTube. Not thinking about our audience and our value problem. Do you yeah. think there's a video that was a big mistake? Yeah, we had a couple. We had a couple big mistakes, but they're unlisted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I would say just overlooking, yeah, I'd say overlooking our audience and our value problem. The biggest mistake I made on YouTube is copying the people I looked up to. But the problem with that is that at the end of the day, YouTube is all about your video showing up on the home page and the viewer choosing between your video and a bunch of others. So if your video is lined up next to the person you're copying, they have like 100k views, you have zero views, and their name is recognizable, even if you have the same title and thumbnail in the exact same video, uh, they would choose uh, the person you're copying every single time versus yours, so you can never grow. Following the views and not following something that you're creatively passionate about. They overanalyze, uh, just, you know, making one or two mistakes. They just got to keep putting it out there and, you know, getting more content out there and you learn as you go. I'm here at VidIQ booth. If you check out their landing page, I'm actually on the landing page, um, and they're going to do my channel audit right now. Super exciting. I'm going to audit Silicon Valley Girl. Okay, let's do it. Can you give advice to YouTubers which is starting out? This is going to sound so like corny, but like you really have to just like push through because the first thousand subscribers is way more difficult than the first like hundred thousand. Like once you get the ball rolling, it just becomes so much easier. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Just don't give up. That's your worst enemy. Just don't give up. Keep how going. How much time do you think people should give YouTube to work? Like to see the, the yeah. first results? Uh, as, as much time as you have to. I mean, it's... There is no specific time frame, you know, it's, it's, it's different for a lot of people, you know, you can blow up in the first year or it'll take you 10 years. It's as much as you want it. It's not, you know, and you have to do it for the right reasons as well. You can't just like, okay, I want money, I want, you know, views. You have to be happy, you have to be, you have to enjoy what you're doing. So, I think that's very, very important. Follow your passion and install VidIQ. <laughs> can you give advice for someone who's willing to start on Facebook? I think you should put your content where humans are. If your friends are on Facebook, you should put it on Facebook. If your friends are on YouTube, you should put it on YouTube. What if you don't have friends? If you don't have friends, it's going to be very difficult to get the first 10 followers. Uh, but maybe there's another 10 million followers you can get. Mr. Peace just about to go on stage. Everyone is super involved. Did they enjoy your last video they watched? That is just the thing that you can't really track, but ultimately, if they had a good experience in your last video, they're more likely to click on your next one. I think now, especially more than ever, with the pandemic, it's kind of reset things. There's never been a better time to start Thank you guys so much for watching this video up to the very end. I hope it was useful. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, hit the red button down below, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in my next videos. 